Hello, come to paint a Easter bunny with me. I start from the ear. I wet the area first. The colors I use are charcoal gray and cerulean blue to paint the rabbit. The first layer I paint in the rabbit skin is a very thin dilute uh, wash. When I finish this layer, I will start to um, do another layer to darken the color. Just quickly paint another layer on the first one to um, the shadow area um, to darken the color. Once you're happy with that, leave it dry and move on to the next area. If you put a, a little bit color out of the line and you can remove it by uh, using a damp clean brush. Now I we'll put a more color on and the shadow area and then blend it in. I'll put a more darker color on a um, stronger color on a um, uh, rabbit and then I use a, a damp um, brush to blend all of these uh, colors in so give it a, a sort of a fluffy um, uh, rabbit fur looking uh, this is called a feathering um, technique and by using a damp clean brush to blend the uh, pigment in and to create this um, a vague um, sort of a fair looking effect.
for the back of um, the rabbit food I used the same color um, charcoal gray and the cerulean blue added a little bit uh, of uh, Knockton rose to give it this pink sort of uh, flash uh, color Now using the same technique to paint uh, the rabbit tail and put some color on and then leave the edge blank so you got white edge and then uh, you darken a little bit color just give a shadow and so create this uh, 3D looking and then use this uh, damp brush to blend uh, the color in and then now you can see the rabbit tail looks quite real. The top has um, got some white uh, looking uh, hair and then the bottom's a bit darker. And then we just uh, darken up uh, a few areas uh, to create the shadow and then um, make this um, uh, rabbit look a bit uh, like a 3D. Now I have a finished uh, painting the rabbit and move on to the eggs. Uh, to paint the eggs you need to wet to the area first using a uh, wet and wet uh, technique um, and then uh, once the color is dry you will see this uh, clear and a tidy edge around your egg. Uh, when you paint uh, many eggs together uh, don't wet uh, uh, all of the eggs uh, uh, at the same time you should have painted sectionally and so in that case you would have seen this uh, clear tidy edge um, of each egg Now I finish uh, painting all the eggs. Uh, I am going to decorate with some um, metallic watercolors I made earlier. Um, they are a bit dry now. I just add a little bit of water to remove the, the color. Uh, if you want to know how to make your own watercolors uh, with different pigments, uh, you can also have a look um, at my uh, previous um, video called um, How to Paint with um, Iridescent Colors. Uh, in that video, I have shown how to make your, uh, uh, your own uh, watercolors uh, with a pigment.
front pigment and um, so you, you, know, you can have a look at that video this is a, a beautiful day looking at the grass in my garden I'm going to put them here in this painting I used uh, cadmium lemon yellow, uh, cerulean blue and the chrome um, green to do the grass um, as the grass in spring is um, very new and young grass and they actually look yellow so I put a yellow color first and then mix with the cerulean blue to give her this light green color in addition to this I also added some uh, chrome oxide green just uh, to darken area and um, create the, the shadow um, different shadow looking in the grass Hmm, time to create some shadows. Yeah, I put some uh, shadows under uh, the rabbit, and now the rabbit looks um, more like uh, give us some three D looking um, instead of a little rabbit uh, uh, floating in the air. So I just quickly add some um, green color, and then um, um, on top. Um, I will layer it up with um, the darker green and layer by layer and then let um, uh, before the colors dry before the area dry um, layer it up and say the color would mix uh, uh, really well on your painting and they um they all sort of are blended in really well this is um a wet and wet uh, um, technique as well Now my Easter Bunny painting is finished. I hope you enjoy watching it and have a go yourself. Uh, let me know how you get home. See you next time.